I think a more socially just community would probably have some inbuilt or developed resilience. So a resilience in terms of being able to come to terms with external shocks or external threats and being able to ride those. So being able to come to terms with, say, the closure of a main source of employment in the neighbourhood or, if we think about climate change, being able to come to terms with some of the bigger changes about flooding and land use that um, may affect the neighbourhood and the people that they work with and for. What a socially just community would look like where everybody in that community um, has a voice, uh, has an opportunity to contribute, um, can say when things are not right and feel that they've been listened to, can actually be part of the change process in the local community rather than actually being done to. Um, and where different, but also most importantly, the most marginalised groups and communities feel that they are very much part of the community and not seen as the problem or sometimes the ones who um, things have to be done for all the time. At Locality we talk about every community being a place of possibility and for me that's the real starting point. That's where the excitement is and the opportunity. We see across our movement our members doing the most amazing things in terms of the services that they provide, what they do when they see gaps and opportunities to actually make a difference and I think that that is really where we should start. Thinking about each community, what it actually needs, what that community prioritises and making sure that those services are actually there. I think we need more community uh, anchor organisations. The, the kind of organisations that are within communities know their communities and work very closely with them and empower them. All the cliché stuff, but I think it's certainly true. I think there are too many communities across the country who don't have those kind of organisations to make things happen, to help them make things happen. So without those, I think uh, we'll always have a catch-up problem to do. So we need more community anchor organisations, I'd say. I think a more socially just community would be one where people actually know one another because that creates empathy. Obviously in a big society that's not possible, but I think um, creating more truthful stories to tell about people does a similar job. So rather than having big stories about, you know, alarmist stories about these people, that people, in a very divisive way, truthful stories, personal stories, would create a lot more power but than empathy. One of the things that I would like to see are communities which are better connected. So fewer um, insiders and fewer outsiders. Um, people able to participate <coughs> more on equal terms than they have been able to up to now. Now, in order for that to happen, many other things need to happen. Some of the, the, the widening gap between those who have um, and those who haven't, who have not, um, does need to be addressed. There are people who feel done to and don't feel that they themselves can take action and take control. And that also needs to be addressed. It's a place where local businesses are given priority, so not huge commercial or chain businesses but local businesses people who live in the community can are given the support um, to set up their own businesses and they're given priority to do so in the digital age that we're moving into our communities are not just the people who live next door our neighbors now can be people who live on the other side of a city on the other side of a country or even on the other side of the world and for me a 21st century citizen is somebody who steps forward with one foot into the, the international world, the multinational world that we live in, but has got the other foot firmly pr planted in their community because that's where they live, that's where their families live, and that's where their children grow up.